in this service. Let your favor answer for me. Let your favor answer for me. Let your favor break forth for me. In a new way. Like never before. Let your favor answer in my life. Guarantee me forceful change of levels. Thank you, Father. In Jesus mighty name we are pray. Today the heavens open for you. The favor your destiny requires to enter the next phase will drop upon you. If you are saying amen say better amen. amen. Whatever force kept you on the same spot today they will let you go. Amen. Make that amen louder. Amen. Anything you have been struggling to achieve by the favor of God, you will cheaply deliver it. Amen. Make that amen louder. Amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Congratulations. Please get seated. Praise God. Amen. Next we a key to unlimited destiny. One of the most crucial force on earth that guarantees consistent living with blessing is the force of favor. Come take my own face. Is this week or it's not next month? Favor is one of the most crucial force making principal men in life. Nothing gives value to life like the favor of God available for you. So if your life is lacking value now, the truth is that you are short of favor, just like a car is short of engine oil. Favor is the reason for a colorful destiny. And for your destiny to remain ever colorful, you need constant dosage of favor. No man can be at his best until he secures the best of God's favor. Thank God for labor. Thank God for certificates. But I want to let you know, favor is higher in value than certificate. Favor is higher than position. Favor is higher than human connection. Because the people you are connected to, they may soon be dethroned. They may soon be relocated. They may soon turn their back on you. But there is one favor you need that is the favor from God. Favor can do for you what no man can do for you. Life is in phases, favor also is in levels. And that is why for our destiny to remain ever flourishing, if there is one thing that we must continue to grow in, is growing in favor. Growing in favor. Favor is higher than beauty. 
There are some beautiful guests, but they are not favored. Pastor, I don't know what is doing you. What is doing you now? You know, get favor. So you must get favor. Are you wrong saying now? Favor is higher than money. Because where favor can take you to, money can get you there. So we need favor. God's plan for me, God's plan for you is great, is awesome. But until favor shows up, the doors of fulfillment never opens. I alone know the plan that I think towards you. Thoughts of good and not of evil. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. To give you a future, a hope, and an expected end. You never change level in life and in destiny until favor breaks forth upon your life. So if there is anything worth seeking, favor is number one. As far as fulfillment in life and destiny is concerned, seeking favor is very, very crucial. Tell your neighbor, crucial. Now, what is favor? Somebody is asking. Favor, 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 favor. Number one, Favor is the seal of divine goodwill and pleasure. Divine goodwill. When God's favor is upon a person, he has the goodwill of God. I wish you well. So when God's favor is upon you, you have the backing of his favor. And when God's favor is upon you, man can say no to you, but God has said yes to you. The good will of God is stronger than the bad will of men. Once God's good will is upon you, man's good will, bad will is rubbished. So if there is anything you must secure, God's good will. Man's bad will is saying, I will make sure you don't get it. But who saith 18 and he cometh to pass when the Lord commanded it not? If a man's will pleases the Lord, what happens? And I hear Papa echoing this in all our senior pastors' meeting. Carry goodwill so that you can live long and live well. Living long is good, though, but living well is better. When you stay and it's evil will you have towards people, you will die quick. Confirm. When you stay and you are thinking of uh, how somebody will be denied of a blessing, you have opened the door for your generation to be denied of blessings. Because what you saw, you not only you that reap, your children reap. Good will. Why some people are not really making progress is their bad will. Bad will. When they see where someone can be blessed, they set all traps to make sure he doesn't get it. How can you now get Every witch following me from my village. I bind you. Now lie. Bind yourself. <laughs> yes, bind yourself first. Yes. 
So when you get God's goodwill, he said, thou shalt find favor with God and with man. When you find favor with God, your right man will appear. Your right man. Your right man. I had uh, Dr. Paul Elenche say, you don't need everybody to like you. Let your right people appear. Your, your destiny will flourish. In fact, even the people that don't like you, they are even helping you to provoke more favor. Oh, you don't know. It's scriptural. So if there is anything you need to secure, it's God's goodwill. God's goodwill. If you can get that man, step into any place, things will work. Relocate to any city, doors will open. Help us with help us of favor will arise for you. And when you now carry goodwill, anywhere you step into, <laughs> multiple doors, multiple favor. Multiple opportunities. Protocols broken. Why? Goodwill. Should I tell you something? If you carry goodwill, you can't hide. It will be easily noticed. Likewise, if you carry goodwill, you will be meeting people of like minds. You will be meeting people of equally bad will. Number two, what is favor? Favor is the fragrance of acceptability likability it's like a divine perfume on you an aroma that smells anywhere you go accepted likable in Genesis 27 we've read that over and over verse 27 he says, see, the smell of my son is like the smell of the field which the Lord has blessed. Therefore, God give you the dew of heaven and of the fatness of the earth with corn and wine to sustain you. The smell of my son is like the field which the Lord has blessed. So wherever you find favor, blessings have been triggered. Oh, Naphtali, Satisfied with favor and full of the blessings of the Lord. You can't be full of the blessings until you are full of favor. You can't. So every time blessings are triggered upon your life, it is ushering you into a new wave of favor. New wave of favor. Man, I like blessing. No? Because it makes my life to be favorful. Because when you are favorful, you will be blessing rich. You will be rich in blessing. So this fragrance is like rose flower. Anywhere you go, you smell acceptance. Just like he shared. I like you. Has somebody walked up to you and tell you I like you before? Not for evil motive. Oh. You know, people, some people, their mind is so corrupt. The moment you hear, I like you. Now, it's the first evil that comes to their mind. When you are disfavored, <laughs> there is an arrow fired against you to stir up negative aroma of rejection, of misfortune, of failure. But today as this oil come upon you, God will change every evil smell around you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. 
There is a smell of acceptance. There is a smell of likability. Check through the life of Joseph. This smell was following him everywhere he goes. Look at the life of David. This smell was following him. The smell of acceptance. The smell of likability. You need the smell of favor. If you must flourish in destiny. You need the smell of favor. If you must make progress in life. Majority of the people that God will use to raise your head. May not even people you know. They may not even be from your village. They may not even look like people that can come your way. But by divine programming, that is the way it has been ordained. I remember in one of my stations, after service one day, one of my present close friend now, the wife just came. Sir, I like you. I want you to be my husband's friend so that he can learn the things you know and so that he can be talking the way you talk. So that he can be dressing the way you dress. I say, ah, but I just came now. He says, sir, it doesn't matter. It's good now we start early. <laughs> so, he went and told the husband, this is what I told Pastor Tonio. So, go now. <laughs> and through, through, the man came. Say, my wife told you something. I say, yes. I said, I don't force myself on people. Heart connects to heart. So, you wait first. Let your heart connect to my heart. If your heart connects to my heart, there will be a flow. But if my heart does not connect to your heart, stay foul before fire go burn you. So, little by little, it started coming, started coming, started coming. Until today, we have been very tight. Very tight. Very, when I mean tight, rope. You see rope? <laughs> very tight. One day, he sees this wife's car. I said, you can't be my friend and seize your wife's car. In fact, for doing that, you will buy another car. <laughs> Funny enough, he bought another car. He said, see the picture of the car. Choose the one you like that you want me to give to her. I said, this red one, this red one. It's shiny, the thing is shiny. <laughs> so, so he bought the car. So he said, I will be there to do the presentation. When we presented the car, the woman was in tears. She couldn't believe it. May God give you such kind husbands. Amen. That when battery just misbehave, they will change the car. Amen. You won't say amen now. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Hear me? The more likable you are, the closer to your throne. The more likable you are, the more you meet people of quality. Check the people you are meeting. Is it that you are getting farther from your ultimate destiny or you are drawing closer? So your rest roundabout. My prayer for you today is that all the people that Satan is using to block you, you know, there are favor blockers. There are some people when they when they come around you, they <laughs> their life is like impedance. 
in physics we call it impedance they hinder every good thing that is to come your, your way they are favor blockers but when the right people appear it's like there is a divine switch in heaven compelling doors to be opening for you in multiple directions multiple every favor blocker in your life let the anointing drive them away today yeah. and whatever force is driving blessing away from your life let us spell be crushed in the name of Jesus yeah. number three what is favor favor is likened to a supernatural magnetic force that attracts that pulls relevant people relevant uncommon opportunities into a person's life the truth is whether you like it or not what you just need is the right people and the right place The right people, the right place. You don't need plenty people. You just need the right people. Relevant people. Favor magnetize them. Favor compel them. Favor draw them. So every day, be anointing yourself for favor. Because the more relevant people you meet, the faster your journey to fulfillment. What we take others 30 years to accomplish in less than 3 years, 4 years, you already settled. Galloping with more success, making more progress. If your life is full of conny conny people, crafty people, chronic gossipers in church. Oh, Satan don't arrange you. you. You have a satanic arrangement around you. And I bet you it's only you that can bring yourself out. Nobody can bring you out. Remain, oh, remain. Check it. Check it. Naturally, spiritually, the people you your circle of influence they either create slow motion for you or they help to fast forward your destiny your circle of influence in physics they say light charges attract so it is what in you that is attracting those bad people it is also what is in you that is attracting the good people you choose it. By your words, by your actions, you are the one drawing it. Number four, favor, I will let take four so that we can be able to do the real ones in the second service. Is the supernatural dressing of glory and beauty. Favor dresses you for glory and beauty. You can be favor and look ugly. You can be favor and be reproached. The glory of God is the cure for reproach, is the cure for mockery. But what attracts it is favor. No wonder scripture says in his favor there is what? Life. Because you can't carry his life and lack his glory. Now, pastor, have you wondered why the people that they say they are beautiful 
They are not getting husband like the people they say they are not beautiful. You know what they do there? No glory. Pancake is not glorious. <laughs> Did you hear me now? Is pancake glory? If you like, mix three together. <laughs> Let me shock you now. Your character announces your glory. Your character reveals your beauty, not your face. It's not your face. And in Rafi Church, if they are looking, is we now, is we. But they need to see you. Are you hearing me now? They need to see you. If you like, change with one every week. <laughs> it's not the we've won you change oh. <laughs> whether you like it or not even people that are doing recommendation in church they will recommend you you know there are recommenders <laughs> I hear what I'm saying now they are our recommenders. Scripture says, He that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor. So you are the favor the person is looking for. So you must make yourself. Are you know what I'm saying now? Not make your face. So make yourself. Polish your character. Don't be a busybody. You think it's only sisters? <laughs> Laziness disfigures you as a brother. Laziness is not a good character. It's a very dangerous trait. It's a witchcraft trait. Are you what I'm saying now? Sisters, please hear this, whether you are in overflow or outflow or inside. Don't marry a brother that does not have vision. His salary can deceive you. But if he has vision, you are good to go. If he has vision, it's not with mouth. It will show in his operations. Some brothers can dress well and be feeling good. They are just uh, looking for who to collect. They go to uh, Dikina Yandibu. They collect 5,000. <laughs> they target bro- Dikimbe. They collect 2,000. They look at brothers. Sir, God just led me to you. <laughs> they look at uh, Tokumbo. Say, bros, if you can give me one shirt so that I can use and go and pose. Please run away. (laughs) That's not the favor you are looking for. Are you wrong saying now? That's not the favor you are looking for. Maybe you not know, but hear it now. Favor is a spirit. It's a spirit. It makes you accepted. Everywhere you go, it announces you. You are not hidden. What announced Mary was the spirit of favor. He said, Thou art highly favored. The spirit. Was she the only virgin? No. There were plenty now. There might even be plenty with more good character. But only God knows how she was the one. Are you what I'm saying now? When glory comes, you can't hide. Likewise, when favor comes upon you, you can't hide. Do you know that there was a glory in David? That was why even while he was in the bush, the thing was still calling him. What are the products of favor? Number one, I'm going to take only four because of time. 
then we'll take the remaining five in the next service. Favor makes it to be your turn before it is your time. It is your turn before it is your time. Favor makes it to be your turn before it is your time. That's why I want to let you know favor is not fair. It doesn't make sense. We call it divine partiality. It makes you to be preferred above others. If there's one prayer I learned from Pastor Chuka, he said, Lord, cause me to be preferred. Cause me to be preferred. He said, and Daniel was more preferred than the others. And you know, when you are preferred, you may not have all the qualification. They just felt it should be you. They just felt it should be you. So if it were to take you 10 to 15 years to get there, I say, ah, but it just came now. It's not too long. No, it's not how long. It's not how long. So favor can fast forward your rising. Favor can fast forward your rising. Favor gives destiny quick speed. So it's not by power, not by might, but by the spirit of favor. Number two, favor makes you to achieve things at early age, what others will achieve at old age. That is the mystery which the Bible calls early satisfaction. So favor is the cure to human delay, spiritual delay. Any form of delay you are suffering in life, you need favor to terminate it. Favor. Joseph became prime minister at 30. David became king too quick. Too, too quick. Psalm 90, Psalm 90 and verse 14. Psalm 90 and verse 14. Oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all day long. For thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the said time. So we have mercy up here. You can't miss favor. Oh, satisfy me early. How come thou hast found this so quickly? He said, the God of my master granted me good speed. So when favor is at work, you achieve things early. Many of you will become billionaires before 40. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Others may be thinking of retirement money at 60. Before you are 50, you are oversettled. Amen. You better say a good amen. amen. The race is not to the swift. Nor your battle to the strong. No favor to men of skill. It's a time and chance. Happen it to what? Them all. So you need favor. So you need favor. And whatever has delayed you, by the favor of God, that delay, that stagnation, will be broken in your life. He said, I will restore to you the years that the canker worm and the plumber worm have eaten. My great army, which I send among you. Favor is responsible. Favor is one of the principal ingredients for restoration. That is why when they were in Egypt, God said, you will go, but you don't go empty. I will give you favor. So when that favor landed, blessings of 430 years entered their hand cheaply. 
So I don't know what you have lost in destiny, in your career, in your business. By the oil of favor coming upon you, you will recover your wasted years. I say you will recover your wasted years. I remember that sister in one of the churches in Nsuka believing God for the fruit of the womb and the devil was just making a mockery of them insulting she and the husband and when God showed up God gave her four at once how many? so if they were doing um, family planning she has collected four I don't know what you have lost write it down I said so God will restore your wasted years God will restore your wasted years number three favor places you on the same platform with elders It will take them time, but it will take you only favor. This is where the mystery of impartation guarantees speed. It took them time. It took you favor. That's one of the secrets of people that understand impartation. Oyedebo has fasted 40 years, even 50 years. If I wait to fast that kind of fasting, I may not see what God has in mind for me. But by impartation, you can assess it. By impartation, you can assess it. Impartation enables you to assess what took them time to achieve. By favor, it is delivered sweatlessly. Number four, favor makes God to cross his hand to bless you. Meaning, God goes out of his way, break protocols to settle you. When Ephraim and Manasseh say we are to be blessed, what happened? <laughs> he changed the hand. Joseph said, no, Father, it's not so. He said, no, this is how God wants it. He said, no, Father, see, see, this one, his name is Manasseh. This one, he said, this is what God wants. God does not only cross his hand. He can bypass people in front and go and start from the back. I remember the testimony of a young man, a young man in his secondary school. The teacher so hated him to the point that every time they are sharing something, they will start from front just to make sure that before he gets to his turn, the thing has finished. So, the person that was bringing the something did not tell the teacher what was in his heart when they were bringing another one. And when the person came that particular day, he started from the back. Before the teacher will walk in, the old boy has collected his own and began to dance. And he was looking out for the boy just to make sure he didn't get. Should I tell you something? When people are scheming, gaming, networking, to see how a blessing will not enter your hand, God will bypass them. I said, God, we bypass them. Everybody stood on the line. Normally, you start from the front. 
the man and the lady that followed him said, no, let's go and start from the back. He started from the back. And the teacher made sure that the boy is always at the tail end. So the man now went to the back and started, and the boy collected the team. When he now discovered that the boy has collected, his face turned shit. Black. Whoever is planning how blessing will bypass you, by this oil of favor, the God of Oyeriko disappoints them. When they sought for a king in the house of Jesse, nobody expected that it is smelling David that will carry the crown. They thought it was Eliab. They thought it was Jonadab. Macho. People will get fine body. Now we now. <laughs> the Lord say, I know they look their face so now they heart what they see. I beg nobody these kind of people that they look for. Jesse, is there still anyone that is not here that needs to be here? He said, Yes, there's one in the bush. But I don't think he looks like it. He said, No, just bring him first. He said, Okay. Elia, go and call that stupid boy. <laughs> when good things are coming, there are people they don't call, but they are the ones God choose. Yes, they say, oh, yeah, bring him, bring him. Funny enough, he didn't bath. <laughs> he came raw the same way he was in the bush. And as he came, the Lord spoke. That is the anointed of the Lord. Immediately, he said, bring him, bring the horn of oil. God just spoke to me now. This is the anointed of the Lord. How, how come? It's not how come. It's how where. It's the one that was chosen. Now, do you know also that Joseph was the least of his father's house? But he's still the one that became the announcer of the blessings of God. Hear me? My prayer for you even when men are not expecting that something good will take place in your life, God will surprise your mockers. If you are saying amen, say it better, amen. amen. Now, what are the benefits of favor? Number one, it enables you to experience supernatural increase and promotion. A good example is Joseph and the favor of God was with him. Please, I beg you, protect your favor. If there is anything you must not lose, don't lose your favor. Protect your favor. Protect it. Protect your favor. Anywhere you go, protect your favor. And the favor of God was with him. Genesis 39. Genesis uh, 40, Genesis 41, and the favor of God was with him, and the favor of God was with him, and he was getting closer, drawing closer, drawing closer to the palace. The favor of God will land upon you today. The second benefit of favor, it increases you with assets. All material, both spiritual physical, family, career blessings begin to follow you. Number three, every time favor comes upon a man, doors of opportunity opens for the man. Check it. Why are people getting opportunity and you are not getting? You have favor problem. Oh? Some even the little favor they have, they even collect it from their hand. When favor comes, doors of opportunity opens. Why? Because favor triggers blessings. It triggers blessings. To make real the blessings, doors of opportunity begin to open. To make real the blessing, doors of opportunity begins to open. Hear me? 
if you are short of opportunity, you will be short of success. Because the more opportunities you get, the more success follows you. No one that scripture say, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. <laughs> hey, the favor of God is the goodness of God. And lastly, for this service, when favor follow you, when favor answers upon your life, you don't fight physical battles because God fights for you. First Samuel, time will fill us to read it. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 45 and verse 40, down to verse 47. Because in his favor, there is life. Favor guarantees divine intervention. Favor guarantees divine exemption. You were exempted from every satanic plan. So when the enemy is scheming, how you will be shattered, how things will go down, rather it is reversed and things will begin to work well. What is the key to unlock this favor? Right standing with God. Don't strive to secure right standing with men if you have not secured right standing with God. Be current in the things of God and in the things of the Spirit. Don't look for right standing with men, then go shame you. Look for right standing with God. There are people that were fervent. Some years back, they have lost their fervency. We used to be the prayer band in Rafi Church now. That time when they pray, the place they shake. Where are you now? All these ones, did they learn how to pray now? Did they learn how to pray? <laughs> they are nowhere to be found again. They are now the advisors of God on Rafi matters. They are now struggling in their prayer life. You hear me? The moment you begin to struggle in your prayer life, <laughs> you are stale. Say with me, stale. stale. Don't they smell? You have lost your spiritual savour. Go and claim it back. Because only his presence can guarantee freshness. No wonder Paul said the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Let me summarize with this. If you go to where they sell goat meat pepper soup, if you come out, what do you smell? Good. They say, hey, you don't chop something, you don't chop something. <laughs> he went to where the thing is smelling. People that are always, no wonder the psalmist said, one thing have I desired, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. They come out smelling favor. People that are always in his presence, they smell glory. They smell favor. Rise up to your feet. Their heart is always panting after God. Desiring God. No wonder David said, restore to me the joy of my salvation. I want my place back. That was what David was saying. Lord, take me back. He said, oh, Galatians, who has bewitched you? Did you start in the spirit to end up in the flesh? You have gone so carnal to the point that your carnality cannot even be brought back except by God. Lord, I take my place back. If you lack favor, you go crawl, oh. you go suffer. You will suffer, suffer your wife, suffer your children. But when favor is at work, before one blessing is finishing, another one is doing boa. Boa. There are people that don't look for opportunity. Opportunity, look for them. We'll hear more of that in second service. There are people before an opportunity is announced. Hey, favor that man for me. Favor that man for me. That's the person I want. That's the person I want. Favor. 
you are going to pray. Father, if you are not born again, please, you can be in church and not be in Christ. Christ is the fountain of favor. And that's why wherever you are, for your story to begin to change, you must accept the custodian of favor. And that is Jesus Christ. Wherever you are right now, put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. If you pray that prayer with me, just come. I will anoint you here. I will pray. You are going to lift up your voice. Father, as this oil come upon me, change every smell of misfortune. Change every smell of rejection. Change every smell of disfavor. Let your favor come afresh upon my life. Let your favor, please come, 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 come this way. Let your favor fall afresh upon my destiny, upon my family. Favor that will give my destiny speed. Favor that will guarantee restoration in my life, in my destiny, in my family. Lift up your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. As this oil come upon me, Father, let your favor break forth upon me. If you are joining him, come now. I want to pray with you. Jesus, let your favor come upon me. In the name of Jesus, overturn every reproach. Overturn every smell. Let the smell of rejection, the smell of failure, the smell of non-achievement, the smell of misfortune, be broken. Lift up your voice and begin to pray with us. Lord, by the anointing, fresh favor, fresh favor, favor that will open up my destiny, favor that will fast forward my future, favor that will guarantee restoration and recovery, favor that will break the yoke of stagnation. In the name of Jesus, let your favor cry out from the depths of your heart. Lord, by your favor, terminate struggle in my life. By your favor, terminate hardship in my destiny. By your favor, destroy the oppression of the devourers. By your favor, let the yoke of misfortune be crushed. Let the yoke of misfortune be destroyed. Lift up your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. Father, a favored man is not a struggler. A favored man does not struggle to eat. A favored man does not struggle to get his desires. Oh God of Oyedeko, let the favor of God that is noted in this commission break forth upon my life. Answer in my family. Answer in my destiny. Answer upon me. Let your favor Pray. That business that looks as if it is crawling. You have suffered disappointment as a sister, as a brother. Ask God for favor to recover all that you have lost. Lift up your voice and pray. Spirit of God, I place a demand on your hand of favor. I place a demand on your hand of favor. I place a demand on your hand of favor. Oh, that thou would just bless me with favor for unlimited destiny, favor for unlimited progress, favor for unlimited accomplishment, favor for unlimited breakthroughs, favor for marvelous help, favor. That will connect me to relevant men. Favor. That will connect me to people that matter in my destiny. Favor. That will bring me before great places. Father. Your favor. That 
guarantee rest roundabout. Your favor that guarantee rest roundabout. Oh God of Oyedepo, lift up your voice and pray. You must not meet this favor. You must not miss this favor. Ready abosh kababa, rekaton zegalata, emprepele genuto zizale erado jekluta mekataka rekoteko Jesus yaga gaga gaga ga. Ziroto emprapali enzuzunu enklikutu jekokarete eropali aleta zizola ba 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 eradede jekutero enraketeria. Zizo lambreete insonate lata jekukale abebe rekotezo zi ababa la sote predigata favor of god 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 thank you father in jesus mighty name we have prayed. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. I pray for you because favor is also pronounced. He said, the Lord give you the dew of heaven and of the fatness of the earth. I pray for you today. You cease to struggle. Whatever has reduced you to a struggler, that yoke is crushed in the name of Jesus. The yoke of non-achievement that has been following you everywhere you go, I command that spell broken in the name of Jesus. Wherever the helpers and carriers of your favor are located, north, south, east, and west, I decree by the four winds of the spirit, let them locate you in the name of Jesus. Others are laboring with time. Favor is given as cheaply. Today I decree the blessings which only favor can give. Enter your life in the name of Jesus. Enter your family in the name of Jesus. Whoever vowed that as long as they live, they will not see you to carry that blessing. I speak as a correct son of Oyedeko, the God of my father whom I stand to represent. Bypass them and give you the blessing. Bypass them and favor you. Bypass them and say to you. <laughs> Rachel was hated, but God opened her womb. Thank God for your haters. But I stand as a son of Oyedeko. Every hatred they have fired against you to deny you of the blessing you desire. I command your womb to open. By the oil of favor, I command your womb to open. I command your destiny to open. I command your family gate to open. Oh, Naphtali, satisfied with favor, full of the blessing, possess thou the West. I decree by the oil of favor upon you today, God will enlarge your coasts. God will increase you with opportunities. God will multiply your success. God will increase your pace of accomplishments. From today, you will not struggle to get anything. What others are laboring to get, by the spirit of favor, it will answer to you. I pray for you. Others may be using connection. Long leg. By the oil of favor, I decree, let the loins of priests and kings be loose for your favor. The king connected to your rising. They will not rest until you are settled. The men connected to your blessing, they will not settle until you are settled. Amen. They will not settle until you are settled. Amen. Say amen like a believer. Amen. By the oil of favor, I terminate the yoke of struggle in your family. I terminate the cause of hardship in your family. 
every arrears of blessing that is needed to pay for the 20 years, 25 years, 30 years you have suffered. I command by the four winds of the spirit. Let those blessings rush into your life. Let those blessings rush into your family. The same way God said to that sister. Ten years delay with quadruplets. I decree whatever you desire. Restoration. Areas of blessings. Every arrow of untimely deaths. Fired against you. By the favor of God, I decree your exemption. Whoever wants you to go, we go for you. Let the arrow of this favor backfire. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Lift up your voice and begin to thank God now. Jesus. Favor level has changed. Declare what you believe. Say, for thou will bless the righteous. And compass him with favor as a shield. You are entering rest roundabout. You are entering rest roundabout. The favor of God is turning this in your life. Everything is turning around for your good. Everything is turning around for your good. Everything is turning around for your good. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. By the oil that have come upon you, I reverse that decision. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Any power withholding blessing from you, I decree by the oil of favor, I disarm them for that blessing to be released for you. If you are saying amen, make it better. Somebody's promotion is released now. They just released your promotion now. They just release your promotion now. So shall it be. Your wilderness season is over. Watch out. Even your family will be wondering, where are you getting this money? They will be asking you, where are you getting this money? Tell them favor has come. I say favor has come. Your new name will now be favor has come. Write it down. I'm not saying next month. This month. You will have a proof to show. In Jesus' name we pray. Put your hands to go. Go bless. Your favor has come. I say your favor has come. In fact, as you live here now, you will see good news on your phone. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Today, good news will enter your phone. Let's share the goodness together. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Amen.